Do y'all hear that? That sounds exactly like Southwest Airlines. Hey, what is up you guys? I am extremely excited for today's video because we are talking about airline stocks. Southwest Airlines stock in particular, as you may know by the thumbnail of this video. Southwest Airlines is a great company and is known for their profitable streak. Their streak has been going on for 47 years. 47 years, can you believe that? That is extremely impressive and it is why I believe this airline stock is the best airline stock to invest in out of all the other airlines and also because of other reasons that we will go over. And to add on, they have a strong track record of revenue growth. Besides the financial stuff, with the huge news of Pfizer's vaccine a few days ago, this brought airline stocks higher and I believe Southwest Airlines will bounce back because of this vaccine and also because of other opportunities that we will go over in this video. Real quick, if you can give this video an early thumbs up, subscribe and turn on those post notifications, I would very much appreciate the support. And remember, I am not a financial advisor and so on and so on. Now let's jump right into the video. So we're looking at how much Southwest Airlines is trading for and actually the market is closed right now as I'm filming. So we're seeing how much they closed at, which was $43.22 a share. And in the after hours, they are at $43.19 a share, which is 0.069%. Now going to the six month chart, we can see that Southwest is up 71%, which is actually not bad at all. I can definitely see them reaching back to the 50s soon again as they were around the high 50s in February and the reason I can see this is because of the vaccine news and possibly with more people traveling this holiday season. As for Pfizer's vaccine, if all goes well with their application for emergency use authorization, this would really, really help the travel industry as they were hit the hardest at the beginning of this pandemic. And also, people will feel safe to travel again. And already, airlines are seeing partial recovery, which is very good. And speaking of people traveling again, the US domestic travel has seen larger capacity gains than travel in Europe and elsewhere over the past two months. From September 7th to November 9th, US flight capacity grew by nearly 13%, whereas capacity for the rest of the world declined by 9%. So people are gaining confidence again to travel, but of course this was the past two months. And this is more than likely when COVID was slowly dying down, as in not much high cases. And it is said that we are in a quote-unquote third wave, but again, it will come down to Pfizer's vaccine and approval for emergency use, which Pfizer said they will be applying for this sometime this month. Next, Southwest is in talks to buy aircrafts from Boeing, 30 Whitetail 737 MAX. There is some negativity within this acquisition because the Boeing 737 MAX was grounded after some fatal crashes. But after reading an article, there has been many test flights of this aircraft and the aircraft looks like it will be getting its recertification real soon. And with Southwest upgrading its fleet with the Boeing 737 MAX planes, this should help lower operating costs and provide a solid return on capital of course, when the planes are eventually certified by safety regulators. Southwest Airlines is also looking to add more routes and expand. The company also announced on Thursday that it will begin flying to three additional cities, Colorado Springs, Colorado, Savannah, Georgia, and Jackson, Mississippi in the first half of 2021. That follows several other recent new service announcements, putting Southwest on track to add nine airports to its route network between now and next June. Management even said it is considering adding a second aircraft type to its fleet in order to better serve smaller markets. The fact that management is able to work on big strategic initiatives like these rather than focusing most of its efforts on managing day-to-day -day operations could prove to be a big advantage in the long term. This could pave the way for Southwest Airlines to reach new all-time highs as air travel demand recovers over the next few years. So with Southwest adding more routes like this, this gives them so much opportunity for more and more growth. Now moving on to why I'm buying Southwest Airlines stock rather than the other airline stocks out there. While well, Southwest is known for keeping their financials strongly intact, unlike other competition, their balance sheet is up to the T, and like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, they also are known for their impressive profitable streak that has been going on for 47 consecutive years. What more can you look for in other airline stocks? Tell me. So we're here on Yahoo Finance looking at Southwest Airlines income statement and their revenue each year has for the most part increased as you can see, which is very impressive. And their gross profit has been steady as well. 
Operating income, not too bad either. And their net income has been strong for the most part as well these past few years. Now for their balance sheet, their total assets through the years has been above their total liabilities. And for the most recent year it provides us here, they do have more cash than total debt. And while we're speaking of money, Southwest reported their Q3 earnings a couple weeks ago, and it wasn't too bad as many feared, considering these unfortunate times and how bad the airline industry has been hit. So we're here on CNBC looking at this article for Southwest Airlines earnings. Despite its biggest loss ever, Southwest Airlines was able to cut its cash burn, which is extremely good. Bookings have improved in recent months, the carrier said, but it warned that recovery is still far off. The Dallas-based carrier recently asked unionized employees to take a 10% pay cut to avoid furloughs for next year. And this is what CEO Gary Kelly said. We are encouraged by modest improvements in leisure passenger traffic trends since the slowdown in demand experienced in July. And this is what CEO Gary Kelly said. We are encouraged by modest improvements in leisure passenger traffic trends since the slowdown in demand experienced in July. However, until we have widely available vaccines and achieve herd immunity, we expect passenger traffic and booking trends to remain fragile. Southwest revenue dropped 68% to $1.79 billion from $5.6 billion a year earlier. The Dallas-based carrier lost $1.2 billion in the three months ended September 30th, compared with a $659 million profit a year earlier. Adjusting for one-time items, Southwest's loss was $1.99 per share, better than analyst expectations for a $2.35 per share loss. And surprisingly impressive considering these times, Southwest trimmed its cash burn to an average of $16 million a day in the three months ended September 30th from $23 million in the second quarter. Southwest said operating revenue would need to recover to 60% to 70% of 2019 levels, double the third quarter's sales to break even. So clearly, Southwest has been holding up during this time with about $15 billion cash on hand. Guys, this is a lot of money. Also, they expect to improve even more with slowing its cash burn to $11 million this quarter. Like I said, very, very impressive. Now we are here checking out the stock price forecast for Southwest Airlines. The 18 analysts offering 12-month price forecasts for Southwest Airlines have a median target of $47.50 with a high estimate of $59 and a low estimate of $40 a share. The median estimate represents a 9.85% increase from the last price of $43.24 a share. Now for the analyst recommendations, the current consensus among 21 polled investment analysts is to buy stock in Southwest Airlines. This rating has held steady since October when it was unchanged from a buy rating. Now for my take on Southwest Airlines, like I said earlier in this video, I do strongly believe in my opinion Southwest can hit $50 a share again or even in the high 50s like it was trading in February because of the emergency use for Pfizer's vaccine and hopefully it being approved and because people are steadily traveling again. And you also have the holidays coming right around the corner and people are going to be traveling for that. It might be not much volume, but people are still going to travel. Now, what am I doing with Southwest Airlines? Well, like the thumbnail says, I am buying into this stock, but it's going to be a long-term position because I believe this stock and other airline stocks will bounce back real soon. Well, that brings us towards the end of this video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did filming it for you. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications to be notified every time I post a new video. It would really help out the channel and I very much appreciate the support. Comment down below what you think about Southwest Airlines. I would like to know your thoughts. Thank you for watching you guys. Till next time. Peace.